Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episode three of my next life as villainous. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Sophia and Oh, okay. Friendship? I, I thought it was something else. I thought it was a Yuri. I was like, oh, okay, we're going. <laughs> I mean, we already know this show's gonna go in that route, kind of. <laughs> I get that. Or what? That's it. <laughs> Go find your new best friend and talk to them about this book. <laughs> your religion. Because it's always, no matter where you go, you can always find someone who is an otaku or anything. Anywhere. You just never know where you're going to find them. You can go to freaking Starbucks and find them. That could be your freaking Uber eater, U Uber Eats person. You never freaking know what could happen. When are you showing up? Oh my god. <laughs> That's our best friend right there. It, it's going to happen. We all know it. Everybody has fears. Well, yeah. For real, it's gonna be okay. Me. <laughs> Is it too high? Is stomachy? Okay. 
Of course. You ate too much sweets and then you're having tea? You're going to go to the bathroom on the tree truck? Just stay there until they move. There's your new best friend. Don't you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And her brother's so freaking cute. Like, oh my god. Like, if this game was a game on the phone, I'd probably end up choosing him. Or Alan. It, it just, it depends. Because there's, there's too many guys. And it's hard. It's hard enough. I'm playing a game where I had to choose between four guys, and it's already hard. But in a way, you made your first friend. <laughs> Cute. Right. So you don't even know how his ends. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think 
of course. She's so gay for her and I love it. It's so cute. What? No, you're not creepy at all. Why would people think you're creepy? So you're pretty. Girlfriend, not friend, girlfriend. Oh, I don't cry. Oh. I'm going to cry. You found her. I'm happy for it too. Oh my god, I'm crying. I'm busy. Love you too. Yeah. They just like own little book club. I can't. <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh my god, he literally looks like his dad. No! <gasps> She is, oh my god, she's so precious. <laughs> Can we just have a row where she falls in love with all the guys? I'm just saying, because they all cute. Mm 
Anything else? I, I don't think you want to say that to him. You're so cute, even with your sister complex. But you know what? That's okay. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Even Keith? I want them to get together. Let the boy be together. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. Seriously? Oh, and now you're an adult. Well, a teenager. And we're finally going to see them when they're older. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Everything's fine. Okay. That ain't no freaking bug, that's a hickey. Huh. Mm. 
Not your sister. Not your sister. It's sister. The guys in here are so attractive. Yeah, but isn't the heroine supposed to come? Like, I, I feel like she's coming. Because I don't think we, we don't really get previews with this show. She's got to come. She's literally the only character who hasn't shown up in this show yet. She's shown up in like. Flashbacks, but not really, you know, hey, officially here, that's it, end of the day, for a new character, whatever. But oh my god, these boys, I can't, these men. I can't, I, I really can't. Like, there can't be an arc in this game where she can't have all four. That would be nice. But then her and Sophia have, like, the cutest chemistry. And just, there you go. And the game would get with Sophia, I'm just saying. Nicole, boy, <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, your sister complex is a little, mm, but you know what? That's okay. I'm fine with it. It's okay. You like um, Miyuki from <laughs> the irregular at Magic High School, who is deeply in love with her brother Tatsuya, and I know because Tatsuya is fine. as a fine piece man, but... <laughs> No. <laughs> but so, let Sophia and Katarina be together. Because, come on, they're just so freaking cute together. I mean, like, even when she, when they met, and then their little group, and their friends, and talking about books and everything, like, that was so adorable. To have your own book club, and to talk about romance novels, and ish like that. Like, come on, that was so freaking cute. Cute. It was too adorable. I <laughs> think like, we're just so mean for each other. But now I can see what. Well, well, no, because now we've finally gotten into the. Well, no, that was last week. This was like the start of the alley because. <laughs> cute. <There you> go. <laughs> I mean, that part was cute too. But yeah, I'm just. I'm hoping that the blonde haired girl comes because she is the last one who's supposed to show up because everybody else is now officially here. Where the heck is she? She's somewhere in the midst. So probably when episode four comes out next week, that's when we officially get to see her. I don't know who she's going to be voiced by. She can be literally voiced by any freaking character. I might. Biggest thing is I want to know what her name is. So you know what? I'm not even going to like spoil myself and look it up, even though I kind of want to. But I'm going to wait until next Saturday to find out who the heck she's voiced by. If she's voiced by somebody I know, I mean, that would be awesome. Because like the only person who who's VA I know is the main lead, and that's Katarina, because that's freaking Bronco, uh, Shadow, and a whole bunch of characters that she's freaking playing that I've known. 
But this was a really cute, adorable episode, and I'm happy, you know, her and Sophia are friends, and it's just so freaking cute. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode three of my next life as a villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode four. Bye, guys.